Hey, y'all. As I said, I, I was going to break um, the haunted Netflix uh, season two up into two parts, but as I got to talking about the first episode, I kind of realized maybe I should just break this off according to each episode. So this one would be Ward of Evil, um, season two, episode two. Uh, so this one is Ward of Evil. The person who is telling the story is a nurse in this uh, nursing home or whatever for um, elderly people who have dementia. And she was just telling her whole life story about how she loves taking care of people and always want to help people, blah, blah, blah. Okay, girl. And from there, this woman came in um, because her daughter just said that she needed help or whatnot. But the nurse said that it was clear that this woman was not suffering from any memory or when she first came in, she just seemed very angry. She wasn't suffering from any types or any signs of dementia when she came in. But the daughter insisted that something, which we never see the daughter, but whatever. Now, this one just seems really weird because I, because as I mentioned in the first, uh, my first video, um, Netflix always says that this is based on a uh, fact or whatever. And then um, the lady says that this is in New York and the place is called, okay, I don't remember the place, but <laughs> I looked it up. I looked up the the nursing home or the place that she said that it was in this little town in New York or whatever. None of that shit ever existed. <laughs> um, uh, so it's just not adding up. And I'm sure people are going to be like, this is BS or whatever for this, um, especially this particular um, episode, because she goes on and starts saying that the woman she was very angry and it just was apparent that she was always like, um, just really mean and she would never talk to anybody. And as time passed, she would hear her like growling and, and it was like a, not her really talking, growling. It was like coming from somewhere else. And, uh, every time she went into the room, it was very cold and it was like freezing in there. And then she told the owner of the facility and the owner just was kind of like not trying to hear her. And then she was like, one time they went in and there was a, a picture of Jesus up and then the picture fell and then she put it back up. And then the people who are um, with her telling this story are other nurses and assistants who claim to have witnessed this as well. And uh, the picture of Jesus fell down again. She's like, there was no reason for the picture to come up. And then she's like, then I told the owner to come in and try to hang that picture. And then she tried to do it too. And that picture fell again. So she just thought like, ooh, I, boom, I told you. Um, so this woman, this uh, old woman or whatnot, she was just talking in tongues and growling. And then um, it got to the point where she wouldn't even eat. Like, the lady says that it went on for courses of weeks and this woman had not eaten and stopped bodily functions. I'm like, well, I don't know what the fuck y'all talk about because whatever that is, is dead then at this point. How you, you can't live if you're not eating and having any bodily functions. What the fuck? So I'm like, none of this story is making any sense. And they were sitting there, they were still trying with her and you know, she was like wasting away and then they would just hear her like growling. And then at one point she attacks one of the new nurse assistants and bites the shit out of her. And then one time another one came in there trying to, uh, one of the ones who would deal with her came in and tried to like pray or something. And then she had ran her out of the room. And then when she ran out the room, she had like scratches all over her back. And then the other nurse who's telling the story, she said one time she was in there and then she gets like a piercing thing. And she's bleeding. And, and then the other nurse told her when she went to the nurse, it looks like somebody stabbed her with an ice pick. Meanwhile, nobody had no pictures of their injuries. Even if y'all old as hell now, y'all didn't take no pictures then. And then y'all could have probably still had the bruises. Not the bruises, but the scars. Nobody showed that. Um, nor did they have a picture of this woman. But anyway, and then I'm like, where's the woman's daughter? I thought the woman's daughter is the one. And who is paying for her care at this point? If you're like... I have so many questions. Um, and then it was this other crazy part where they talked about some when she was in there and um, 
she's talking to tons and talking about um somebody he is here you gotta be quiet because you're gonna make you're gonna wake him up or make him angry and she was talking about who and it was like supposedly somebody else in the room or something and then um they were saying they both came in one time and she had like a crucifix or a rosary stuck up her anus i'm like that is disgusting <laughs> but anyway so she was like and they had to remove it and i'm like what so then they were talking about some finally the owner had um a team of uh exorcists come in the exorcist this story sounds very very familiar so i'm like girl you watch exorcist one day and then i'll say <laughs> bust out the story but yeah although there was no i don't think there was any anal stuff with that little linda black girl i think she was like fuck me fuck me with the crucifix and but anyway but this is her story um so there was like a she said it was a team of like four of few men and women who came in and then once they left they um came in and she's like I was so scared I'm like why are you sitting by the door if you're so scared it's like I just wanted to help her and blah 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 and whatnot and um what happened and then after the people left they were like yeah whatever was in there was just pure evil so then her and other nurse who actually will will go and care for this woman go in after the exorcism is supposedly over and then they go in and she's sitting there she's levitating on the bed or whatnot and then they look at her or whatnot i think she say some and then she just fall back on the bed and she die but before that when they were doing the exorcism i think she said like she could see in a room for a little bit a peek in and it definitely looked like some linda blair type exorcism stuff she was levitating and they was all on the thing and i was like i thought she was gonna say that once they went in there she killed them all or something but no nah, i guess everybody got out cool but from there the woman died and then from there they had other um residents or whatever they gave the rooms to someone else who moved in and then the woman who moved in, she was always saying that something wasn't right about the room or whatnot. And it was, you know, just a regular other dementia patient. She's like, um, I just, you know, reassured her that there was nothing wrong with the room. And um, excuse me, y'all, I'm I'm looking back because my cat, I'm trying to make sure he's not doing that crazy. Um, yeah, so she was like, oh, there's something wrong with this room. And then she was like, no, it's not. And um the woman ends up dying of like a serious um, cardiac, uh, heart attack or whatever. And then the next woman who comes in, she says the same thing. Like something's just not about right about this room. So then the, they were like, oh, like, I just didn't want to admit it or whatnot. And then that woman, they said that she, um, all of her organs and stuff shut down. And then they tried to like extract something from her and everything was just pus in her insides and that woman everything was completely functional before she came in there so from there they ended up the owner just was like you know what fuck this room we just gonna board it up and no longer let anybody come in, in there which i was confused about and i'm like well was it the room or was it this woman because i know they weren't saying nothing about the room before or anything and the room was probably perfectly fine before so it's because her the demon was exercise exercised and it stayed in the room even after that woman was dead and then it just started coming after whoever else lived in the room that's what i guess happened because i'm like why do you keep talking about this room but I guess the spirit or demon, well, the demon is not a spirit because it was never walked on this earth as a human form. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, so, uh, yeah. And that was the thing. And then she said eventually um, the place closed down. Um, and then it closed down for many, many years. And then at, um, now in present day, it reopened and it is now another like home for, I don't know if it's for people with dementia, but it's open again and it's a home. And she was like, I just wonder is whatever that evil is, is it still in that room? I just don't know. And I just really wanted to help her. And I'm just so sad I couldn't help. Boo hoo hoo hoo. And y'all that was Word of Evil um, season two, episode two of Netflix Haunted. I will be back with um, Cult. Um, the Cult is the one. I can't remember the name of it. Let me see. It's, called, it's the one about the cult. <laughs> it's Cult something. I'll put it probably in the description. And I will see y'all with the next one in a sec.
Peace.